Hey folks, I'm Mike Edelson, New York Historical Knights Association, and we are wrapping up our Knife and North holiday party. And I'm here to talk about gift ideas for the HEMA enthusiast in your life. The first thing that I'm going to talk about very briefly, because we've done video on these things, are these Gekin longswords. Um, these are, some people like to call them boffer swords, but that's just because they have feelings of inadequacy and like to make fun of things. Um, these are wood cord PVC swords with a very dense foam. They're very strong. Uh, you can hit someone on the head with them really hard, and they're about 100 bucks, and they're a lot of fun. You, it's really, really fun to hit people on the head with them. Ah, the redneck! Over here! Over here! Like, it's, it's therapeutic. Like, come here. Love it! Okay. So we're not going to talk too much about that. Thank you, Ott. Uh, because, we, like I said, we have videos about them. What we're here to talk about is, mostly, is these, or are these, techniques fetters. Now, Natasha Darcy came out with these from Purple Heart uh, two years ago? Was it two years ago? A year ago, whatever. And uh, they're really cool. You know, we've talked a lot about what makes them great. They feel a lot more like real swords. Um, some of the things that people didn't like about the first generation are these goofy pommels. And whether you had the, the pear-shaped pommel or this pommel, they were like, they're, they're kind of goofy looking, right? And um, that gives them kind of a little bit of a wonky balance. And for some people, they're a little bit too flexible. So now they have come out with the Gen 2s. And we've been reviewing these for a while now, and they're fantastic. They're everything that those are, except a little bit more. Now they have a little bit less flex to them, so they're stiffer. People will like that. Um, the pommels, as you can see, here is direct comparison. They're a little smaller, so a little bit of an improvement there. And that gives it a little bit more of a sword-like balance. Um, one of the problems with these is that they're a little bit too handle heavy, so um, they're more like the, the fetters, which don't feel like real swords. But these things, especially these things, and especially these things, really do. So they're really good to drill with, and you can fence with them because, um, I mean, even though people hate rolled tips now, uh, they have a, a safety tip which you can put tape on to prevent the various injuries that, that rolled tips cause, and that's still very good thrust protection. Um, they're light enough, especially here, that you can hit people with them, and they flex enough, especially in the week, that it's safe to thrust with them. So these are, are a great multi-purpose tool. If you can only have one blunt training sword, I suppose this is a very good option, and they're really cheap. I think they're still under 200 bucks. So that wraps up our uh, gift ideas for the HEMA enthusiast.